let's talk about the Aster family and passive hydroponics outdoors here in Portland, Oregon. Stay tuned. The Aster family of plants. It's a huge grouping. In fact, it's the largest family of plants in the world. It has trees and all sorts of things, but we are gardeners here at Box Joy and we are interested in things that we can eat. There are sunflowers and artichoke that are in this family. We don't bother with those because here we need to work with short-lived smaller plants. But that leaves a lot of good things. So let me show you some uh, plants in the Aster family that uh, we're growing here this fall in Portland, Oregon. The greens in the Aster family are known to be one of two things, uh, sweet like heads of lettuce or uh, perhaps just a little bitter uh, like endives, um, whereas mustard greens often can be called peppery. Um, so here we have uh, this endive here, uh, Glory Frizzy, if I'm saying that right. Uh, if I'm not, haha, <laughs> laugh at me. Here it is, it has a really cool bulbous uh, bottom uh, and this would probably have a bit of a bitter uh, taste to it. I am very excited about these. This is Radicchio, let's see here. And uh, at first they're green and they're kind of open and then they start pulling themselves upright and flushing themselves red and eventually they'll turn red and white. So I just think that they're fascinating. Uh, this is the first time growing them. And on the sweet side, here we have a flashy troutback, which is a very popular green these days to grow. And it loves being in these, these planters out here on the roof. And you can see the texture on the leaves are just incredible. It seems to also be one of the largest greens for the period of time. I'd say this is about uh, five weeks uh, in from germination. Here is another one of the endives, uh, which is a little on the bitter side, um, and I have quite a few of these. Uh, they're uh, very uh, stout and, uh, and meaty and bushy for a salad green. Um, I'm excited to cook with them. And then we have this romaine here, Paris Island romaine, which is a famous uh, older variety, and uh, it has this green that starts out more more uh, open and then you can start feeling it and witnessing it uh, pull itself uh, vertical which I'm excited to see but it's clearly on its path to doing that and here's one that is not going vertical uh, butter crunch um, and you can see that it is staying open and also none of these are bolting uh, because I got the timing right I planted it uh, just at the tail end of summer uh, here, and it looks like these are going to be fine all winter um, without bolting. And the last example of the aster or sunflower family of uh, greens is this very cool deer tongue heirloom uh, lettuce. And just check out how neat it is. It's gorgeous. Thanks for watching this little video of Aster Greens. I'm making a small series uh, of videos of mustard greens, Aster Greens, and Amaranth Greens that uh, make up the bulk of what we grow here at Box Joy. So thanks for watching and take care.